Hello everybody and welcome back to the Games Done Quick Hot Fix. So this is PB Precipice and I am filling in as your host today. ADEF was not able to make it to the show today, unfortunately, uh, so I'll be filling in. I uh, do have a quick uh, few announcements before we get into the swing of things. Um, Frame Fatales will be having its next all-women speedrunning event, Flame Fatales, from August 21st to 27th. Uh, the marathon schedule is out now. You can go into chat and type excl exclamation FF. Or you can go to gamesandquick.com slash fanfatales for more information there. Prize submissions are also now open, so you can check the site for more information on that. Uh, as well, if you're over uh, on YouTube watching, you can go to twitch.tv slash gamesandquick if you're interested in looking at our live content starting weeknights at 7 p.m. Eastern and weekends at 1 p.m. Eastern. Uh, with all that said, um, we do have a little bit of a hiccup. Uh, if you were here a few minutes ago, I did mention... Uh, we were supposed to be doing Super Mario Bros. today. Uh, unfortunately, we are having some technical difficulties with that. Uh, so instead, we've got Fant here to do a Link to the Past Hundo Percent PV attempt. How are you Hi. doing today, Fant? <laughs> I'm doing good. To, to, just a heads up. Um, a little rusty. <laughs> but there's a caveat here. Last time I did this run, I've only practiced this run mirror mode. So this is the first time I'm actually running this where my screen is oriented correctly. So I'm thinking there's a non-zero chance to PB here. <laughs> you're you're going to PB just because it's playing the game the correct way. Playing the game the correct way, yeah. <laughs> I like it. I mean, I'm all for it. PB is a PB, right? PB is a PB no matter how big or small. It's true. <laughs> all right. Uh, I am ready whenever you are. All right. Let, let's go on go. Three, two, one. Go. All right, so we're playing Link to the Past. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm sure you've seen this game before. It starts off with about six-minute run-through of Hyrule Castle, rescuing Zelda, and all that stuff. I've got the rando brain right now, so hopefully I don't open up any unnecessary chests. This chest right here is a trap. Don't get it. It's the lamp, but we can get the lamp later, more efficiently. All right, so I got my splits up over here so we can see how well I do. Uh, also important, so I remember the exact routes of uh, where I'm going to be going here. But early on, not too much movement tech. You'll see me uh, juddering back and forth. Uh, that is called pumping. And if you go up and to the left, that means you can just pump right or left on the D-pad, and you'll move ever so slightly faster. And yes, this is 100% NMG, no major glitches. I'm not going to be uh, running through and clipping past things. We're doing the game largely as intended, with a couple very minor glitches like block deletes and all that. Uh, but more on that later. Now, no, that was not RNG manipulation or anything. <laughs> It, it was not manipulating a frame-perfect buffer on something. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. And you may be asking, wow, Fant, how did you get a sword there? That's so dang convenient. The answer is, this is not a randomizer. This is an actual, just regular speedrun. <laughs> if I remember this, charge a sword, bam, bam, there we go, get in the key. Don't open that chest. That chest is a trap. We only need two chests in the escape. You know, it's funny. I like I've played a lot of randos, but I've never played randos of a game that I actively speedrun. So I never really considered the fact that going from a rando to a to a run is just incredible. Oh, it's it's tough. <laughs> it's, it's tough. <laughs> Like, I'm just thinking, like, I do crystal randos, like, oh my god, doing the stuff you do in crystal randos in a run would be horrendous. <laughs> Alright, use that boomerang to get the key through the wall there. Seats. <laughs> very good, very good. The muscle memory's all coming back. Folks, I just woke up. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Welcome to GDQ. All right, so because I'm a little rusty, I'm going to go for the one-pot strats. Just come over here, throw one pot up, then four slashes. I can hit it. There we go. And we'll get our lamp here. Fun fact, the lamp can uh, show up in multiple spots throughout the game. 
depending on which chest the player opens. Uh, it can be found in Link's house if that's the first chest you open, but it also shows up there if you miss that. Um, and that's a much faster chest to get, so we don't get it in Link's house because we don't need it until now. All right, now we're just taking Zelda back the way we came. Is that the only item that does that in this game? Um... I didn't mean to put you on the side. Sorry, which item, which item are you referring to? <laughs> the, the lantern. The, the lamp. Um, Urban. that is required. I, I guess, sorry, can you repeat the question? I didn't think I heard it correctly. Is that is that the only item that has, like, multiple spawns? Well, I guess only key item. Uh, no, like. the, uh, the red boomerang also has multiple spawns, and uh, we'll be getting that later. Okay. Ow. Actually, shoot, I messed up. <laughs> uh -oh. I shouldn't have gotten that boomerang. Um, yeah. Uh, we're going to have to take a detour to get a boomerang from the waterfall fairy. That's the any percent strategy. Um, because I got the boomerang there, the red boomerang is not going to show up later. Uh, so that is very unfortunate. It's all good, though. It's all good. Actually, no, we're not, we're not going to reset. We can still PB. We can still PB. Oh, yeah, so one of the caveats of the, the red boomerang is not having a boomerang. Gotcha. Yeah, we'll, we'll get... So remind me, when we go to Zora, I will need to get the... Uh, nope. The, the, uh, the waterfall fairy. Yep. Haplocks, the Zora waterfall fairy. <laughs> All right. This is the other chest we need. That's a small team. Ow. Co-op percent. You have notes. Co-op percent. Yep, yep, yep. Got stuck in the doorway there a little bit. That was on. There's my key. If only this was Resident Evil, you'd be running a little bit faster. <laughs> It's okay, we're about to get the sank heart, so we're gonna get a nice refill. Just being careful not to avoid. We're gonna try and skip a cutscene here by hugging the wall. There we go. Got one Zelda text block instead of two. And we're out. And we are 1.7 seconds ahead of PB. <laughs> yeah. Okay, a number of text boxes here. Mashing all the face buttons in order to skip them. There's an optimal frame to press a button to proceed to the next screen. And generally, mashing is the best way to try and get it. I'm going to say, mm, or yes. And we're going to get the sank heart. There's a refill. Your ears have been saved. Uh, one of the main rules of Link to the Past speedrunning is you cannot use save and quits to save time. Uh, so generally, we're going to be progressing over the overworld and just making sure we collect everything along the way. Hopefully, I remember where everything is. So I, uh, early on, I, go ahead. I was going to say, I, I assume the 100% category in this is just like all items, all uh, fairies. And, uh, so it's a full, it's a max inventory, essentially. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so... Full equipment, so that means red mail, uh, your gold sword, mirror shield, et cetera, et cetera. But only, yeah, I have to go this way. Um, only the maximum level of stuff. So if I can get something without getting the intermediate level, that's still valid. So for example, I don't need to get the red shields because the mirror shield is the maximum level of the shields. We're good there. All right. Eastern Palace. Our first uh, regular dungeon. We're, our current mission to collect the three pendants to uh, defeat Aghanim and then collect the Master Sword. Good RNG. Those uh, left-right cannonballs, completely random. 
Alright, get a nice little heart there. Now in this next room, there's a little bit of manipulation you could do to spawn two skeletons. If I do it correctly, only two skeletons will spawn, and you won't even see them. There we go. Uh, that was pretty that was pretty sweet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gonna collect some arrows on the pots down below to make sure I have enough arrows for the fights. That are just down right here, boom, boom. And one more here, boom. One of the biggest uh, benefits and boons to uh, knowing a lot about this game is knowing what's under every pot, which ones have the ammo resources you need. Which ones have the keys? Like, oh my goodness. Chat, which pot has the key? Oh my god. Oh my god, it's this one. Spoilers. <laughs> I didn't actually know that it was guaranteed drops in these. Yep. Now, there is a uh, mode we like to call the Pottery Lottery in Randomizer that does shuffle those contents. <laughs> I'm going to use a damage boost here after I get another health so I don't die. Go, get another health just in case. That avoids us having to kill all the enemies in that room. That gives us the boss key. And now we're gonna go get our first item, the bow. There we go. And that gets equipped immediately. Did some enemy manipulation there to get that Igor to activate away from all of those little snake traps. And we're just continuing on, like riding a bike, like riding a bike, Church. Once, once you get back in the swing of things, it's all muscle memory, right? Yep. I just need to remember to do the correct stuff and not do the incorrect stuff. I, I mean, that's a very valid statement. <laughs> All right, we're going to try and get both of these Igors in one cycle. I was a little bit too early, so I'm just going to take that opportunity to get all these, these things. And bam, max arrows. Let's go beat Armos Knights. Oops. Okay, I was a little bit sloppy. I accidentally moved down too far and got hit, but it's okay. Are we on pace? It's gonna be close. I believe. All right, we're two seconds behind. It's okay. That was that mess up of the cycle, but we're all good. We're all good. Uh, now I'm gonna get the best item and link to the past. The boots? The boots. I was sick. I was right. <laughs> I, I just assumed the movement tech item. <laughs> Actually, got to go over here and get bombs. I'm not sure if these are ones that are needed, but um, it is extra money. We're heading over to desert. I try to do a trick called spin speed here. Speedy boy. And we're out. <laughs> I've actually somehow never seen that. A uh, good old spin speed. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I literally like. I don't watch like. Of, 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 you know, a hundred hours of ALTTP, but I've seen runs of this. I don't know right, how right, I've never right. seen that. <laughs> like, uh, it's just kind of one of those things that's like, I've definitely seen runs of this. How have I never noticed that? Right, we're going to go now for the unholy spin speed. Charge up a slash there. 
do that. More Noom. Save time. Let's go. <laughs> so our mission here is grab the book and head to deserts. Cut my dash a little bit early. I'm trying to remember when I get different things. If I blow enough, we should just go under this cactus. Yeah, perfect. Dash up here, went a little bit too far. And let's get into deserts. We got a question for max hearts. Yes, we get all 20 hearts. And welcome to Desert Palace. Get that pot, that's a guaranteed arrow refill. Well, I don't need that chest. <laughs> caught myself, caught myself. Almost, you, you went in the door, but you did catch it. That's the key I need, now we're going all right sign. There's another arrow pot over here I'm gonna get. Right here. Right here. <laughs> Honestly, I'm impressed at how little, uh, like, randomizer um, confusions you've had. Like, you've had, like, one? Oh, that's just the first of many. Uh, you, you say that, but <laughs> I believe. I want as many arrows as possible. Uh, because, one, I messed up Armos Knights, and two, it's the primary way of damaging Lamolas, which are the uh, boss of deserts. We're gonna get uh, ten more here. Boom, boom, boom. So now we're at 29, so that's a pretty good number. Oh my god, it's the Power Glove! Is this even randomized? Something, something, something. That joke has never been done before. With any luck, I'll dash straight to the bottom of the screen. There we go. If I'm too late, I get stuck in one of those little sand pits. All right, so while we're up here, I can't forget, we are getting this heart. This is required as part of 100%. And we are 15 seconds ahead of PB at that split. Heck yeah. Did what is known there as a key dash. If you're on a correct pixel of the grid, you will dash straight through a key door without bonking. And there are a number of methods you can use to make sure you're on this so-called grid. And as long as you bump up against any object that is placed, you will successfully make it through. So I bumped on that torch. That means I can go through. Gotta get this key. All right, we're in. All right, now time for the hardest boss in the game. I, I do not kid, this, this boss is hard. <laughs> I'm gonna equip the bow. And yeah, hopefully we can do a, a quick boss here. Not bad, not bad. 
Okay, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. That was, that was a good fight. That that is by far from best. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I don't do bow uh, often. We're 35 seconds ahead of PB Church. We're moving. We're moving. It's only going up or down. I get it. the 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 negative is going up. I don't know. Speed running. It's weird. <laughs> Number go green. You say we are Good. gaining time. We are gaining time. But wouldn't gaining be? I mean, I mean, I, okay. I I don't know why I'm arguing this. I'm using the same vernacular. <laughs> I use the same vernacular. <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, whatever. All right. So now we need to go to Death Mountain. Uh, that is where we're going next. And we can't. Uh, when you're playing rando. It's awful. You just save and quits to Sanctuary. You run around. Uh, but uh, because that is not allowed to save time in the speedrun, uh, we are doing a different thing. We're taking a warp. We're going to be utilizing one of the few minor glitches that are allowed. Uh, this one is called Fake Flippers. We'll see if we can do it correctly. We're going to a specific screen. Then we're going to jump into Lake Hylia and take a Hylia warp to get where we need to go. That's this one right here. There we go. And we just get into this warp. Excellent. I'm going to take a quick detour right and go into Bonk Rocks. For, you guessed it, one more heart piece. Boom, there it is. Our next mission, we're going to rescue the old man. The old man's going to give us the mirror. You can see a reflection in it. As you do with a mirror. Unless you're a vampire, in which case I guess you don't see a reflection, <laughs> but... All right, I'm going to go ahead and request now, because this happened to me before. Um, when I leave Palace of Darkness as the first Dark World dungeon, please remind me to go to Hype Cave to collect the Hype Cave 300 rupees. I need it for minigame heck uh, that will come up after that. Hype Cave? Hype Cave After Pod. After Pod. There's the mirror. Oh my goodness. All right, GDQ chat, please please help me out here. All right, I could be cheeky and try and hover to this. Um, I'm not going to. We're just going to go around. <laughs> we'll try and hover back. See if we can go back. Okay, we made it two tiles. I'm tired. <laughs> Did it get a chance to warm up? It's okay, it's okay. Minor time loss. You just go back around, church. Get hecked by a boulder. It happens sometimes. Setting up another spin speed there, if I did it correctly. Neum. Zoom. And into the portal. Wait, what is this vanilla sprite? This is vanilla sprites, I know. Alright, into here we go. Wait, I don't need this, do I? No, I do. I do, I do, I do, I do. Alright. Unfortunately, I can't answer that for you. <laughs> I 
All right, everybody's favorite room. So, um, Church, how's your morning been? I'll let We're sitting here. Been. We're gonna gonna wait for uh, all these tiles to go and yeah. I, I I'd ask you how your morning's been going, but I I think I've been here for all of your morning. From the sounds of it. I woke up, roll out of the bed, turned on stream, and I am here. Yeah. Uh, so my morning's been a little less hectic than yours. <laughs> <laughs> I can say that much. You appreciate it, though. Also, for somebody who rolled out of bed into this, you're doing really well. Thank you, thank you. I'll be ecstatic if we can PB. I believe. Alright, there's the big key, and we mirror out. Alright, there's a strat to quick kill the beetles in this room. Um, I'm rusty at it, so we'll see if I can do it. Good enough, good enough. Early morning speedrunnings, let's go. There's a conversation about vanilla Sprite, and I don't think vanilla Sprite <laughs> sounds like a good beverage. <laughs> vanilla Coke is really good, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not too big a fan of vanilla Sprite. I think that is the one I would, <laughs> I would pass on. <laughs> I'll stick with my regular Sprite, thank you. Did my nice little bum jump? Okay, uh, I, I almost hecked myself there, but we're okay. We're okay. All is all is well. Gonna get some backup health, and now it's time for everybody's favorite boss troll dorm. Boss is notorious for ending runs and just being a jerk. Need to poke him six times. Oop, that was close, that was close. Getting hexed. Okay, last one, last one. Get over here, troll dorm. Not cooperating. All right, we're good. We're good. There we're we good. Go. We're safe. We did not fall to Troll Dorm. All right, so we are about 48 seconds ahead right now. And our next stop is the Master Sword. Be very careful not to just die. All right. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Just counted pits to know when to stop my dash. And we are safe. We are out. I feel like I should have asked this earlier. Around what times are my notes here? I've got Zora. Like, <laughs> Zora and Hike Cave. When should I be paying attention for these? <laughs> like, the hour uh, mark? Hike Cave is coming up very soon. Uh, Zora is a bit away. All right. See, that's better than the answer I was afraid of, which is I've already missed it. <laughs> There's our mushroom. That's for later. Yes, three enemies. Wow, I got a bomb drop there. I need to kill one more enemy uh, for a rupee pole. All right, here's the Master Sword.
Ah! We bonk church. Oh no. Ah, Toskate! I'm in the castle. Come help me. That's what she says. <laughs> I, I legitimately, for a second, I wasn't sure if you were quoted in anime or something. <laughs> like, I. Uh, it says there in text, Kia, it's great. <laughs> I need three more rupees. Are these rupees you're gonna have to like search for, or do you have a, a spot in mind? Uh, we'll we'll see if uh, they come natural. I'm gonna kill this card. Right, I just need one rupee. <laughs> So we're heading to Aga Tower. It's a giant linear dungeon. Not much to talk about, but one thing that at the very end is there is an entirely RNG amount of blue balls Aganim will throw at you. Uh, so you can get your guess anywhere from 0 to 15. How many will we get? That sounds like an awful amount. <laughs> 15? Yep. Oh god. 15 is possible. Uh, alright. Uh, I will go on the believe side and say zero. Oh my god, this card. Okay, that, that was a lot of time loss. <laughs> I, I got hecked by those dagger guards. It's okay, we get a refill at the end. Don't need to kill those. All right. These are such hazardous working conditions. That's true. The highest I've seen is nine, by the way, in the thousands of seeds I've played. I guess I should be equipping the bow here. I wish I would have a field day with this castle. <laughs> Not my best performance. We're moving, we're moving. My PB, I think, has two blue balls. All right, here we go. Here's the moment of truth. So the way it works is the first shot is always a reflectable shot. Uh, then you get three 50-50 coin flips and then a lightning. And then after the lightning, you get a guaranteed shot and then three 50-50s, et cetera, et cetera. So the most 50-50s you can lose is 15 before you're forced to hit the end just because of that guaranteed one after a lightning strike. Uh, so that's why it can be anywhere from 0 to 15. And here we go. Welcome to Aghanim, everybody. 3 is the, the most common number. It's not average. It's like a 30% chance to be 3. So that one's guaranteed. And now we're going to have 3 shots, all 50-50s, Church. All 50-50s. There's one. Oh. 
Already, if you guess more than 10, you're out because I got uh, only one blue ball there. <laughs> and yeah, if you flub a hit, <laughs> which is very rare to do, um, it can be more. But if you play optimally, uh, you are going to get at most 15. There's two. And remember, the average is three, or the median is three. There's three. It is three, surprise. I wasn't counting the actual hits, so I wasn't sure if that was it or not. <laughs> oh. So if you take what I said verbally, I'm wrong, but I won in the poll, so I'll take that as a half win. <laughs> so three is fine. Three is expected, you know, zero to three. Uh, the important thing is to get is two or less, because two or less, you skip a lightning cycle. Three, you get the final lightning cycle there, so we had to wait. Which it happens. All right, we're a minute and a half above PB. We are still on pace, everybody. As long as I remember to collect all the things. All right, coming up, Palace of Darkness, everybody's favorite dungeon. There's one cool skip called the Hammer Yump um, that is double... It's not pixel perfect. Um, it's like... X axis, double X axis perfect. <laughs> For lack of a better term. Now, all that money I collected, it's specifically for paying off what I call the Yakuza monkey, because in Japanese, it kind of uses a tone of voice that's similar to the Yakuza. All right, we're going to pay him 10 rupees and we're going to carry him along. Hopefully, I don't get hit. If I get hit, this is very bad. All right, we made a church. That was that was nerve wracking. Do you lose the monkey if you get hit? You lose the monkey, and the monkey will charge you another ten rupees. Ooh. Yeah, that sounds not great. All right, welcome to Palace of Darkness. We're gonna use this as an opportunity to farm a bunch of bombs because uh, there are bombs everywhere. And we also need to use a whole bunch of bombs. So I'm trying to remember my optimal route through this area. I think I know it. We get this. We never go right side. We just go through the middle. We have to take a couple visits to get to the big key. So first we go right. I think, yeah, over here. This sounds good. This sounds good. There should be a key in this chest. Um, I'm verbally thinking my way through this since it's been a while since I've done a run of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's the key. We mirror out. Every time we mirror, the pots get refreshed. So lo and behold, under this pot is yet another bomb. All right, so this will get us our big key. This is the scariest dungeon now. Um, there's a lot that can go wrong. All right, there's that key. Now we're gonna drop down and get yet another key. You guessed it, right here. Boom. Now we mirror once more. And hey, church, guess what's under this pot? Is it a bomb? It's another bomb. Hey. I'm gonna get another one just in case, yeah. <laughs> now it's time for the, the yump of hammering. Let's go. I'll try to do a key dash here by bumping along that little ledge there, keeping my X pixel there, and we are through the door. All right, let's uh, let's begin the setup. Um, that was one pixel too low. There we go. Put that over there. I'm one pixel too high. That should do it. And we're through. 
That skips First a large portion try. of the dungeon. Now we just need to dip in here for one more key. There it is. All right. So you need to be on the same X coordinates. Um, I guess. No, that'd be Y coordinate. Yeah. <laughs> it's a horizontal line, but it's technically a Y coordinate. Um, in order to place the bomb and then get hit by the bomb. So it's a, it's a double Y position perfect spot. There we go. And yes, in Japanese, it is called the MC Hammer. Isn't that amusing? All right, here we go. I only have nine arrows, so I'm going to get both arrow pots here. Yo, we got the quick kill in this room. Let's go, let's go. All right, now we have sword beams. This is why full health was important. So we could bash that, dash to the right, hit the switch. Let's go. <laughs> We're having fun. We're having fun. That's what speedrunning is all about. Going fast is cool. <laughs> it's more important that you have fun, though. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Keeping full health is important, so I don't have to menu to a bow there, so that saves one menu. All right, now the hardest room in the game, the turtle room. Can we get them all in one cycle? Boom, boom. Missed it up, forgot to wait. All good, all good. We didn't take damage, that's what's important. There is a non-zero chance I die to Helmosaur. Uh, this is an annoying boss. Hopefully we'll be okay, hopefully we'll be okay. I, I believe. Boom. boom. Boom, dash, boom. You've been nailing the run so far, you'll nail this one. So I gave myself spin speed there, and you may ask why I was like spinning my sword. That extends the hammer hitbox up. One, two, three, take a hit. Four, we're good. So it extends the hitbox of the hammer up by a few pixels, because if you've played A Link to the Past, you know this hammer has a very short range, an annoyingly short range, in fact. And by doing a spin speed, it will allow us to extend it out, like, I think it's two pixels up, and it just makes it easier to hit things. And that's why. <laughs> now we get to talk to the first of our Crystal Maidens. There's six Crystal Maidens plus... Zelda. We rescue Zelda Natsa by defeating Ganon, by, but by beating Turtle Rock. And she's going to give us a whole bunch of lore. Uh, lore we're not interested in because we're going fast, Church. <laughs> we don't need lore where we're going. Anyway, how's everybody enjoying the run? How's, I hope everybody's enjoying Link to the Past. 100% is always a good time. And we are getting to the RNG portion of the run. So I know everybody loves RNG. Absolutely. RNG is my favorite Hype part cave, Hype cave. I need to go to Hype game. Cave. We are almost two minutes on uh, ahead of pace. Let's go. We're dashing. We're dashing. A lot of memorization and uh, knowing when and where to dash. The yeah. optimal. Okay, we're good. That <laughs> was close. We're gonna try and do a, a quick hammer dash here. That's just Thanks. pressing the item and the dash on the same frame. And it allows you to carry it through. And here we go. We're heading into everybody's favorite room, the hype cave. Excellent. Is she going to talk to the NPC here? It's a secret to everybody. This is important for the dig game. Oop, that, that arrow was going to hit me. Not going to have any of that.
We're going to get the shovel here. Very important item. There it is. If you're curious what that item is called in Japanese, it is Shaberu. That gives us the flute. Or in Japanese, that is as it is known, the ocarina. <laughs> Convenient that it's right there. That is guaranteed it is always in the same spot. It's not random. And now we're going to mirror up here. And get yet another piece of art. So nice. That gives us a full container. All right, the biggest RNG portion of the run is happening now. It's called the Dig Game. Um, if I remember correctly, um, I'll need to check my math. You need to dig 15 times before you then have a one in like 16 chance of digging up a heart piece. And we just got to dig until we get a heart piece out of this game. So church, we have a lot to talk about. This, uh, church, what did you eat this morning? Uh, I, okay, so it's funny you ask that. I literally just finished eating it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had, um, hash browns, bacon, and sausages, and a toast. And, so, I, I, I guess technically it's just also bacon, but, um, a female bacon, or a, a back bacon. Uh, I think, I think Americans just call it Canadian bacon. I am unsure. But it's a different meat entirely, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is one failure. This is going to determine probably whether I PB or not. <laughs> this kit this is the, the run ender right here. So you just have to keep doing this over and over again until you get it. Ugh. Yeah. This sounds like a fun minigame. Do you, how many, uh, t uh, uh, if you said this already, I apologize, how many attempts did you do in your uh, last PB? I think it took me three to get it last time. Oh, yeah. There it is! Holy good. crap! Two. All right, two Ooh. is good, two is good. That's good, that's good, that is good RNG. That is I good RNG, the opposite of marathon luck right there, Church. I started also looking at to do this. I started looking at the tiles. I was like, this is a lot of tiles. This is absurd. <laughs> nope, I was going the right way. I was going the right way. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We need to come over here. I almost forgot to do this. So because we got that, we are now three minutes ahead of PB. Heck There's yeah. one more big RNG moment in the run. Also say hi to Hussein Bolt, this uh, or Usain Bolt, this uh, red guard who is super, super fast. Way faster than all the other guards. And I'm um, silly. I forgot where I was going. All right, so we're going through the Kakariko cleanup. We're going to go to the back of the tavern and collect this bottle. There it is. And then we're going to take this bottle and show it to uh, the kid who is home sick. Hopefully they feel better soon. The kid wants us to fulfill his life dream of catching bugs. Because we have a bottle, you can put a bug in a bottle. But so here's your bug mat. Now we're going to go activate a flute. Everybody salute the flute. The swag duck is arriving. And it brings a wonderful gift. Can you talk about the strength of that bird in order to be able to do that? <laughs> yeah. And, the, and that gift is flights. We're going to go get our magic powder. This is the big safety item, so... 
Once we have the powder, uh, the odds of dying has been significantly reduced. And use this to both bottle fairies, and I'm going to make liberal use of catching fairies for dangerous situations. All right, now back we go to over here. We're going to spend 100 rupees here to talk to our merchants, and hey, that is bottle number two. All right, so our Kakariko cleanup is not done, as we have a heart piece in this region to get. Defaulted into rando checking those. Those are all rupees. We don't need them. Gonna get some uh, more money to protect against potential bad RNG. Now we're going into the Kakariko well. Get a another bomb locked piece of hearts. My brain is working overtime to make sure I understand where everything is that I need to get church. Yeah. <laughs> you did not just do all your rando checks. Yeah. Okay, there we go. There is another row of hearts. Let's go. You're doing pretty well right. considering you're like plus three minutes, so you're uh, you're mm -hmm. absolutely nailing the the rusty non-rando run. Just to compare you against a mirror mode run, you know? <laughs> Heck yeah! Turns out when you play the game the normal way, it's significantly easier. It is easier, yes. I think um, it was one of ADEF's shows that I ran that on. Yeah, so if you're a fan of um, Challenger approaching, uh, I did this run in mirror mode where my screens and controls were reversed. And that is the time I'm comparing with because that is currently my best time. Uh, so I think there is an awesome YouTube channel we could talk about, Church, um, where you can go watch that run that I did previously. There is. It is up on the Games Done Quick YouTube channel. Uh, I can. I did not have the link prepared for that video, but I could find it right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Every time I enter the treasure chest game, there is a one in eight chance that uh, I get the piece of hearts. The first chest is guaranteed not a piece of hearts, and then the second one is important. So we're just going to be opening chests until we get it. Uh, so again, this is a 1 in 8 each visit. So we'll be counting them. That's 2. That's 3. Usually you get enough money to be self-sufficient here. Is four, that we're getting that very bad luck. <laughs> this is the other run ending thing right here. Five, and we've gotten Ooh. three single rupees in a row. Six. <sighs> Count them with me, chat. Just counteracting the uh, the dig mini game, I guess. Yeah. Seven. Uh, lucky number eight, right? Eight. <laughs> All right, I was wrong. Yeah, but there's nine. literally nothing I could do to manipulate this. It's just do it till you get it. Surely number nine, right? Nine. <laughs> All right, I'm going to show some of my tactics. There's no way it's number ten. Uh, I got nothing for you. I've, I, I've tried both ways. <laughs> We're in double digits, everybody. Eleven! 
So we are now uh, in significantly below average. Well, Jeez. can we get to 20, chat? Can we get to 20? <laughs> Every single one of these loses 12 seconds. Thirteen. It's okay, we're funding the redevelopment of Village of Outcasts here. Fourteen. Jeez, this is brutal. So far we have lost two minutes on this. Fifteen. All right. All right. All right. So we 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 lost eighty percent of our of our lead, uh, but the run is far from over, and RNG is done. RNG is done. And there's. I know I could skip everything in here. Yeah. There's still positive, you know, time, so we're good. All right, so I, I know there's at least one person who knows basic statistical calculations in chat. Assuming a one in eight probability, what are the odds it takes you 15 tries to roll the one in eight? Oh, I, I randoed. That was the chest I was supposed to open. That was my rando brain autopilot. That's the one I needed. <laughs> uh, statistically. What is the probability one in 15. Well, so it's a 50-50 every time, right? So it's just like 50-50? 50-50 every... Well, it's a 1 in 8 every time. No, I, I, I'm, I'm doing the dumb. It, you either get it or you don't. It's... Mm -hmm. So 13% chance is somebody, but... Um, yeah. So at least 15 is 13% of the time. Which is, you know, not not that unexpected. It will happen. Thank you, chat. You're great. I knew at least one person could do it. Exactly, that's what I was saying. The first 14 times it is just 0%, and the 15th time it's 100%. <laughs> Can't argue with that math. <laughs> that was a planned pause there in order to skip the cycle there. And here's what we're going to do, because uh, this is a nice opportune moment. We're going to catch a fairy. That is safety fairy number one. If we play the game well, that fairy will never have to rescue us. But you know what's better than not having a fairy? Having a fairy. Having a fairy. I, I imagine fairies do not count towards 100%. Nope. That's just replaceable yeah. bottle contents. Having the bottles is required, yes. But uh, not having to worry about the fairies. Gotcha. Come blinds. I made a hammer here. I'm going to dash without moving from this doorway. That guarantees you I get dashed through this door just like that. Easy. Oh my god, it's the Titans Mets. Where did those come from? Okay, I caught myself from getting electrocuted by the jellies. Excellent, excellent. Will we come out of blind ahead? Let's find out. Yeah, I'm going to steal this from chat, but, you know, it is a very good idea, Church, to, to bottle a fairy. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. That's a good pun. Pretty good. I yeah. enjoyed it. You get the fancy seal of approval. Anyway, this is blinds. You do the same thing every time, he dies the same way every time. That was basically a perfect fight. All right. Are we ahead? Are 
we've got a long cutscene to watch. I believe in. I believe in the TV. <laughs> the dream is not dead. All right, we'll get an idea of how much time we uh, overall we lost because I forgot to splits on these other ones. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I hope everybody's enjoying The Link to the Past. Uh, this is one of my favorite games to play. Uh, I play the random all the time, do like Super Metroid Z3 random all the time, and always excited to show it off for all you. I am by no means a uh, world record level at this game, but I, I do try my best. And, I mean, that's the important part of speedrunning, right? Is just having fun and trying your best. Mm -hmm. right, we're going to go in here for money for Zora. So you, normally this would be the red boomerang, but because I got the blue boomerang earlier, that is no longer the red boomerang. That is 300 rupees. I forgot about that. Uh, this little tidbit of information. So, yeah. Anyway, now we're going to get uh, what is lovingly known as the bacon sword, uh, because it looks like a strip of bacon. AKA, it's just kind of this orange reddish color. <laughs> So we're on a, another side quest to collect a whole bunch of stuff. I need to do this in the correct order. To end up where I need to go. I got a mirror here, I believe. Go in. Turn in this. Leave. Come back. Give him 10 bucks. I'm gonna prep my sword. Oh, I messed it up. <laughs> That's okay, we can we could solve it with a uh, conveniently picked up bomb. We're going on the lunchbox world tour right now. So we'll get us bottle number three. I don't remember this room at all. <laughs> he cursed me with the power of 1 over 2. But all my magic costs half as much. Isn't that nice? It's convenient, really. Okay, I need to leave the screen. Come back. Pick up a bomb, go through the portal. There we go. I can't believe it's not bacon. <laughs> now we're gonna get the uh, purple lunchbox. There it is. Do I get Bombo's tablet here? No, I get Bombo's tablet later. I think. Or do I get it now? No, I get it later. I get it later. Unlock it, please. The master of unlocking right there. All right, we have completed our little side quest adventure, and now we're going to go beat the Skull Woods. Peppered Sword, that fairy is going to make uh, this dungeon a cakewalk. This will also give us the Fire Rod. And coming up very soon, we're going to go finally collect our Red Boomerang. 
That's RNG, whether or not you get a skull there. That was bad RNG, so we got that bonk. Nothing you could do about it, it just happens. Good hell room. All right. That was as good as I could have hoped. Good RNG on the Gibdos. Didn't have to waste any time. That room was a lot harder than it just looked right there. To get around and not get hit by all the enemies running around. We just go in there for the big key. Because again, this is 100% not open every chest percent. Uh, so again, that to reiterate, if you don't know what that is, that is collecting full inventory. I'm just going to fall down here. I'm just going to fall down here, church. Was that intended, or is this rando brain again? Uh, uh, just... I'm not feeling good about doing the bomb jump. <laughs> That's fair. Okay. Backup shot. Understood. We'll, we'll spend a little bit of time just coming in here and grabbing it. It's only slightly slower. Uh, sometimes you just gotta go with the safety shots. That's, I, I totally, yeah. totally agree. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, so there's the fire rod. Uh, you were saying the uh, category requirements again, which was uh, all inventory spots and all heart pieces. Mm -hmm. Full inventory. It's essentially 100% is full inventory. Yeah. I'm trying to remember what I do next, honestly. Yeah, I, I can imagine that is the like the biggest challenge going from rando is just like what what am I supposed to do normally? Ooh. We're good. <laughs> All skill. Mafia was being a bit of a jerk there, but it is done. Okay, I think I need to get the Quake Medallion now. Yes. Yes. Okay, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I think we gained a little bit of time back. We'll see. I forget how long this Crystal Cutscene is. Yeah, because Rando doesn't have cutscenes, right? <laughs> Rando doesn't, yeah. I think we gained some time here. Right, we're back up to over three minutes ahead. Let's go. Heck right, yeah. So I'm just trying, I'm thinking through it. So what I need to do, we're going to mirror. We are going to flute. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, then we go here. Again. Okay. We're on a journey to get the flippers, as well as the quake medallion. This is kind of a trip you just have to make eventually. Um, you wait till you have Titan Smiths to do it, because it's slightly faster when you do that. This is where we're going to take our little detour to get the red boomerang. 
Uh, so I'll show you what uh, is skipped. No. <laughs> I potentially soft locked myself there. I was in the wrong spot. <laughs> I caught it early. We're good. We're, we're okay. There's the Quake Medallion. Oh my goodness. Final purchase of the video game. Well, I guess not really. We still need to get the um, the big bomb, which costs 100 rupees. I'm a little bit short on rupees. Um, worst case, I will go collect. It is 100 rupees. Chat. <laughs> the big bomb's 100 rupees, right? <laughs> gonna do so. Gonna call for co-op action here. I think it's 100 rupees. I'm 99% sure it's 100 rupees. Hello. Hundred rupees according to the internet. Alright. So if I'm wrong, I got it from the internet. Blame the internet. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so I need to collect one team more rupees. And this is the, the little detour we have to do. We have to go in here. This whole sequence is skipped by just not getting the boomerang earlier. Throw on the blue boomerang. There we go. Now let's go beat Ice Palace. So if you had not picked up the boomerang, would you have been able to get the red boomerang straight up instead of going there, I guess? Yep, yeah, so you skip getting the blue boomerang, it just shows up in that one hut I went into. Okay. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, that's really, it's really neat that they just kind of give you the upgraded version. Alright. Now, I'm used to playing Rando, where we use a different strategy in Ice Palace to bypass all of the cane. I haven't done the Ice Palace bomb jump in a while. It is a very tricky jump, very precise jump. Uh, we'll see if I can do it. And again, just to reiterate the requirements, you'll need the, the max level of anything. You do not require you're not required to collect any intermediate steps. That is not needed. I knew I was gonna get zapped. I could just feel it. Setting up the uh, setup by having that in the correct position. I'll go ahead and get these bombs in case I mess up. I got five tries at this. I believe in the first try every time. All right. I'm always nervous about this setup. I think this is okay. That's a first try, everybody. <laughs> first try every time. I, 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 I said like, like riding a bike, church. Like yeah, riding a bike. Just like riding a bike. That's really impressive that you got that. Don't mind me, I'm just going to clip through these stairs. <laughs> I 
And that allows us to skip this entire dungeon. You may be thinking, but fans, there's blue mail there. Isn't that required? The answer is no, it's not, because we're going to get the red mail, which is the upgrade of the blue mail. So we just don't need to worry about the blue mail. And the only thing that's really scary <laughs> to fight against is uh, Cold Stare, which is this boss right here. And it is scary. Cold Stare deals like six hearts of damage, but we got a fairy and we got half magic. We should be okay. We do have a fairy, right? We do have a fairy. Unless it's somehow yeah. didn't trigger. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're good. <laughs> GG! We'll catch another one later. I tried to go aggressively fast there. Because <laughs> I knew I had the fairy in my inventory. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, if you have the buffer, you can just go for it, right? Yep. Yeah, Cold Stare hurts. It's, uh, it's probably one of the most difficult things about Rando. Did you hear everything okay? All right, go get the Triforce. What she's saying, basically. All right, we're four minutes ahead, Church. We're doing good. We're doing good. Oh, All right, we're now going on another shopping trip. This is a little mini one. Need to collect a few miscellaneous items. All right, this is the Ice Rod. This area is known as Ice Rod Cave because it is a cave and it contains the Ice Rod. I don't think any other explanation is needed. Nope, makes sense. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna head up Death Mountain to get Ether, which is needed for Meyer, our next dungeon. <laughs> this never gets old. This is a great strat. <laughs> we're coming all the way up here for a silly medallion. We couldn't do this earlier. Uh, because it requires the Master Sword in order to activate the power in the tablet. Um, and last time we were up here, we were only with the Fighter Sword. Alright, we're going to do a manip here. You may not even notice it's a thing. Uh, we're going to grab the Dark World Portal Rock from below, like so. And that sets up a value in memory for us to hopefully abuse later. I forgot to go do the Meyer Shed. <laughs> Let's do that when we exit. We'll okay. do that when we exit. I will remind you. Yeah, remind me to do Meyer Shed on the way to Checkerboard Cave. There is an important item in there. Hurt. 
Trying to remember my way through mire here. I think I remember my way. Do good RNG here. Gonna have to stall by going up for down. That'll guarantee I don't get hit by that, but I messed it up. I got hit. Don't worry about it. It's all good. It's all good. Everything's fine. And sometimes, yeah. Don't need to worry about that room. Get my magic refill. Gonna use another glitch we haven't really seen where I can shoot a fire rod through blocks. Uh, while a block is moving, it has no hitbox. So they can just fire through it. This is a Japanese 1.0 exclusive glitch, and I just got hecked. All right. <laughs> I may just forego spooky action glitch in order to uh, get some safety fairies here. Just because I don't want to die to, to Vitreus. Look at that, it's the big key. I think we'll bottle one at the end, so we'll be okay. Yeah, we go down here. Yes. We go this way, and then we go this way. That thing is being annoying. <laughs> that gives us the cane of Samaria. Look at that. Yeah, we're gonna forego spooky action. I, I was too low health, I didn't want to risk it. So it's just gonna cost us about 10 seconds, it's all good. I mean, 10 seconds is a lot better than, you know, on um, unintentional deaths. Yeah, dying unintentionally would cost several minutes, so don't want to do that. Normally it's used to uh, quickly skip these two rooms. <laughs> it's called Spooky Action Glitch because it's a play on uh, Einstein's fam famous thing, Spooky Action at a Distance, uh, Quantum Entanglement shenanigans, where you're essentially hitting something elsewhere that activates something that you wouldn't expect. <laughs> like I understood more before you explained it. <laughs> quantum entanglement. Okay. It has to do with uh, quantum yeah. entanglement, yeah. I think uh, you explained search, it fine. Uh, spooky action at a distance. They'll probably find a Wikipedia article and give you a lot of information. <laughs> Like, I, I, you explained it fine, I just feel like that was way over <laughs> my head. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're free from mire. And you need to go to the shed. Yeah, I gotta go to the shed. Ah, 
Ah, uh, look at that glorious refill. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Going to the shed. Right to the shed. Is it left or right? Heck, I forget. I forget, church. Is it the left uh, chest or is it the right chest? Uh, left. I think it's the left one. I think it's the left one. Yeah. I definitely knew that and didn't guess. Uh-huh. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Checkerboard cave. All right, we are six minutes and 50 seconds ahead of PB pace. Heck yeah. We're doing good. We just need to bring it home. We need to bring it home. We're gonna get the Bombos Medallion. Casually, Bombos is probably the spell you use the most in this video game. It's an all-screen AoE that kills everything with fire. It's wonderful. Uh, unfortunately, it's very slow, so we kill things in a faster way. It's still a very cool spell, but we're getting it as part of the requirements to complete the category. We are never, ever going to use this. There we go. Here it comes. We're now going to be completing the wonderful, wonderful dream of Rando. Uh, there's this dungeon, Swamp Palace, and there's two what we call Sphere Zero checks, uh, checks that are open at the start of the game. And the dream is you just put those off and hope they're nothing until you do Swamp Palace. You can do them very efficiently, like you do here in a 100% speedrun. <laughs> oh, that's not the one! Well, we needed bombs anyway, so that's actually good. <laughs> that's actually good. That's fine. Yeah. This is what we needed. So Chad is asking what happens if for some reason you get the blue mail after the red mail? You know, I actually don't know. I'm guessing it's replaced with something else, like a blue ruby. That's my guess. But that would make sense. Because, like, the other chests uh, you've talked about so far could have, like, the boomerang or not <laughs> the boomerang or the lamp or not the lamp. So I assume, like, every chest has... Well, I assume those chests have, like, a A-B state where it's, like, if X criteria is met, do this, else do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, Swamp Palace here. Very, very fun dungeon. Oh, a death by a thousand cuts. I went the rando way, need to go the, the other way. This is the biggest troll. <laughs> Nintendo are such trolls. They make it so you have to go a convoluted way to get the boss key here, with no information hinting about it. It definitely got me when I first played this game. Very much annoyed me. 
Got a question. What if a Link was an anime girl just like me? Well, you can if you play rando. <laughs> There's a big sprite uh, selection that you can choose um, to play this game in the randomized form, and there are many randomized girls there, like Sailor Moon. There's also Nia from Xenoblade 2. She, she's playable. A whole bunch of work has been... Uh, put into making a whole bunch of different sprites playable. We have a question in chat. Is Diver Down a thing in vanilla, or is it not allowed in the category? Diver Down is considered a major glitch as in terms of the category, so it is not allowed to be performed. Very unfortunate. I know Diver Down is a very, very cool clip. Saves a lot of time in Swamp Palace. Skipping a lot of backtracking. Very, very good. Now we're just backtracking to uh, get the hook shots, which is our last major item, I will say, in the game. <laughs> Maybe too early. There it is. Boing, boing. Oh yeah, I need to go get this key. <laughs> I had a mini heart attack there, church. <laughs> We're good. We're good. Everything's fine. Are you fine? Because I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. You'll see me wiggle whenever I push statues. That's faster than just pushing it straight up. Interesting. I, uh, I mean, I'm, okay. I'm not even going to try and dissect that. There's just weird video game movement. <laughs> yep. Parapods, um is not applicable and not rando because you don't get the hook shots until much later in this category. The reason Heropod is a thing in Rando is because you can get the hookshot way earlier as a result of Rando, where everything's shuffled around. It does have use in, um, potentially, if you want to do it, in some major glitches categories, but generally, you wouldn't even Heropod in that situation. <laughs> And there's a lot of semantics for why the hammer yump is okay and why other stuff is not. It's mainly just kind of a, a legacy thing. There's a very difficult quick kill you can do here by charging a spin speed and then just constantly pulling them and they get poked into your sword and they die. Uh, it is a very difficult strategy to pull off. Uh, I've only done it a handful of times. So I generally just take the slower route. We will try to get the quick kill here. Like that. Boom. Two fire rod shots and a tempered sword spin takes out the boss. And now for the longest cutscene in the game. For some reason, the Swamp Palace uh, Crystal Maiden loves to uh, talk your ear off. So. Quite a bit. Quite a bit. There's a lot of important things to say, I guess. You know, it's nearing the end mm -hmm, of the quest. Mm -hmm. It Gotta is. make sure the hero. Yeah, we have ready. one dungeon left and some cleanup to do. Boom, boom, spin! Yeah. As always during these cutscenes, thank you all so much for watching. GDQ chat, you're great. I love y'all. And. If you're liking what you're seeing of the gameplay, uh, Fant actually has her own show on, uh, I should know the day. Oh my god. It's Tuesday. Tuesday? <laughs> it's Tuesday. on Tuesdays. Yes! Yeah. I, uh, I showed up for this show yesterday, okay? I, I was, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing really bad with the air show dates lately, so. 
And uh, yeah, my show's called Game Masters, where we focus on a wide, wide variety of things, but it's generally speedrunning adjacent or games at a high level. So kind of like just odds and ends that you wouldn't consider a normal speedrun. We're going to have on next show, uh, Little Aggie is going to be doing an Elden Ring showcase. Uh, so that should be fun. That's a week from Tuesday. Link is definitely not maidenless, yes. <laughs> Next up, Pyramid Fairy. We're gonna get a uh, good old Butter Sword. This is where I get worried if I'm forgetting anything or not. Just mentally going through. We need five more pieces of hearts. Uh, we're going to get. One there, one there, one there. I think we're good. I think we're set. Oh, good job, chat. It was 100 rupees. Whew. I was nervous. Lucky us, we get to take the shortcut. And that's the last the way. Bu buyable thing of the run? <laughs> that is the last thing we're buying in the run. Heck yeah. In Rando, this is two chests. In the vanilla game, you actually have to choose what you throw in there. It defaults to the bow. That gives us the good old silvery arrows. Boom. All right, now we need to do it again, and I need to be careful because there's a bit of lag in opening up the menu. Now we're going to select the sword and get the butter sword. Why is it called the butter sword? I'll let you decide. No, I no. <laughs> I pressed A too quick. <laughs> All right, I gotta reset it. Look, we got the silver arrows again. Yeah. <laughs> that just adds like a plus one to it, right? The silver arrows plus yeah. one. Okay, here we go. There we go. All right. <laughs> There's our butter sword. <laughs> We're just doing cleanup on the way to uh to Turtle Rock here. Is this the last cleanup section? Yep. Home stretch. We're gonna get the cape here. And if I've done my math correctly, we should be good on on all the health. Cape, very useful item with half magic. It makes Ganon a breeze. We're also gonna have red mail, so we shouldn't have any worry of dying here. We still also have our Safety Fairy, I believe. Yes. All right, King's Tomb is done. We're popping in here for another heart. Also, bomb refills. All right, that's 18 of 20. 
But we need four more heart pieces. We get them from Mimic Cave, Hylia, or uh, Floating Islands, um, Lumberjack Cave, and Bumper Cave. That's four. I should have mentioned four things. So we're going to get three of those now, and then one of them after Turtle Rock. Take, I took the slow way around because I'm silly. <laughs> Bant is very good at the video game. I mean, everybody makes mistakes from time to time, right? It's really hard to be perfect at everything you do for two hours, so... A question of, did I get the bottle un under the bridge? Yes. Yes, I have. A little boost there by uncaping at the right spot. Fun stuff. All right, now we're getting Lumberjack Cave. And we head up the mountain to Turtle Rock. Yep, two more pieces, and both of them are on Death Mountain, so... We are good. Everything else we need is on the Mountain Church. We have successfully remembered where all the items are. Heck <laughs> yeah. Actually, wait, hang on. First. First, first, first. I forgot. We need to get Kane and burn it. <laughs> Stand by. There's one more item I need to go get. I can't imagine the mental gymnastics you've been going through for the past two hours. You're trying to, <laughs> like, not route everything on the fly, but remember which route to do, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I think I get this now in my route. And there's no real optimal way to, to do Mimic Cave. Going fast. <laughs> if only, if only you could have the speed <laughs> the rest of the game. Yeah, it's pretty good. A little bit low on health, but yeah. You do have the backup fairy, though. You have the backup fairy. I'm gonna come in clutch in the chain chomp room if I mess it up. But we'll get a fairy here. See? Ooh. No! Okay. I, I thought I was just gonna fly off the mountain there. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Turtle Rock. What is that glitch called? So I think you're referring to spin speed. That's called spin speed, or if you use a hook shot, hook speed. They both give you the same effect. Normally when you use the boots, uh, it launches Link forward at high velocity. Uh, but you don't have control. And by doing that glitch, you maintain that speed, but you also have control. Among another, among, among uh, several other effects.
We're gonna try and use hookshot iframes. While you're hookshotting, you are invincible. You don't have hitbox. And I opened up the wrong chest. Heck. Uh, <laughs> we're all good. Now, that, the last time it was left, this one it was right. My mistake. Lots of waiting around. You know what, you're not worth my time. You get to live today in this run. Okay, we got the fairy drop. That's actually incredible. I'm gonna try and go for a cool strat. I messed it up because the chain shop moved. This chain shop on the left right there, being a jerk. It's fine. Everything is fine. We got the magic powder. There's anti fairies everywhere. In fact, we're gonna prep to go uh, dust some anti fairies, turn them into real fairies so we can eat them and uh, gain our HP back. The good old rando is, brain. Is that how fairies work? Yeah. You. <laughs> you know what? Seems a little. Seems a little. Dark, I'm gonna take some but... captives here. <laughs> that's that's three. That's three safety fairies. What kind of pace are we on? We are on PB pace, church. We were six minutes ahead last split, I believe, so... Yeah, we'll, we'll get another split once I get the Mimic Cave Hearts. We're on a heckin' good pace. <laughs> so the good thing about 100%, if you're interested in speedrunning Link to the Past, 100% um, is a very safe category in terms of... At least after the first about 20 or so minutes, uh, you get a lot of safeties. You have max equipment for Ganon, so you're not having to do anything too difficult towards the end. Not saying it's free, like going fast and linked to the past, optimizing every single room is hard, but in terms of dying, um, it is hard to die. <laughs> All right, here's Mimic Cave. Get an idea of how far ahead we are after this. We are six minutes and seven seconds ahead of PB. They just need to bring it home. Now, this is why we don't need the red shield, uh, Church, because we can get the mirror shield right there, bypassing the need for the red shield. We have our max level shield, our max level bow, and our max level sword. So now we just need to get the max level mail. That's going to be coming at the end of Cannon's Tower. Yeah, we got the strat. That's the optimal the way to, to do that room. World record, I want to say, is somewhere in the 140s. Uh, we are not on world record pace. No, the world record is already completed. All right, now I need to remember which chest here contains the key. I think it's the last one. Oopsies! All right, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, there it is. So 
I'm doing strats and the routes that uh, the world record generally follows. Uh, but uh, there is a heck of a lot of optimization and RNG. We've, we've lost like probably five minutes just about RNG. <laughs> At least, I feel like, yeah, we lost five-ish minutes to uh, uh, the second minigame, at least. A world record strat is indeed to get good RNG, yes. <laughs> Let's try next. We're gonna get to 19 hearts here. One more cutscene. Yeah, world record 100%, 141.07 by Zelda. Zelda's pretty good at the game. <laughs> mm -hmm. Highly recommend watching the world record run of 100%. Now, even with the good minigame RNG, I would not have uh, a. <laughs> I've got world record, just a heads up. I am not a world record caliber player. At least not yet. We are 620 ahead going into the final stretch. Fuck yeah. I believe in the sub two. Sub two is gonna be. I'm, I'm not. I'm not certain about the sub two. Uh, we could. We could. With a clean GT run, we could. It's gonna be tight. <laughs> all right, here we go. 20 hearts. There we go. You can see in the top right, we have collected all the hearts. And the only thing we need left is red mail. Red mail, and we're going to get it right in here. Chat, type 1 if you're enjoying the run. Type 1 if you're having a good time watching GDQ this morning. Love having you. Thanks, Church, for having me on last second. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for filling in last second. <laughs> Question is, do I remember the key routes? I'm going to get this one just to be safe. <laughs> I think I just go straight down. Don't even think I go in that room. I'm uh, trying to remember vanilla key placement, church. I think there's one under this pot. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Doing great so far. Remember not to go the slow way. <laughs> that's always a that's always a good thing. Gonna bonk over that so we don't warp. All right, all right, all right. Quick shortcut up here. Can bonk across. Skip this whole room. Boom, easy. Gonna powder a fairy. Cause why not, church? If you're ever low on arrows, open up this chest. It's arrows. I did that to demonstrate. <laughs> if 
you're still low on arrows, open up left chest. There's more arrows. Never run out of arrows. All right, now we're going to go get the red mail. It's in this chest right here, church. Can we open it up? There we go. There's our full inventory complete. Now all we need to do is climb the tower, kill Agatu, and we are set. The home stretch. <laughs> A little bit of unclean movement, but we're fine. Oh, we got the we got the dash. Messed up the timing there, so we're just gonna slow walk it up. All right. Let's have some fun with the fire rod, shall we? Not in this room, in later rooms. This is some clean movement. <laughs> You shouldn't have said anything, Church. I'm sorry. Right, well, we'll fire rod him. Get out of here. Commentator curse, my bad. All right, we're good. We're good. To the silver arrows. No, it went right instead of left. I called left. It went right. Oh my goodness, the time. Oh, church, die. There we go. All right, we're fine. <laughs> we're good, we're good. We're good. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of magic. All right, now the, the one-time Cane of Samaria is useful for taking out enemies. <laughs> you just walk down, place a block, pop it. You are done. Easy. That wasn't clean move. I don't know. I don't know what to say anymore. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to curse again. No, the, the, these two rooms are great. These two rooms are great. Oops. All right. We, we need to wait a cycle. It's all good. It's all good. My bad. <laughs> Oh, all the frames, all the frames are gone. All right. That was just general sloppy movement. Oh, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're fine. We can beat this. We can beat this. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These things happen from time to time. I'm sorry, Chad. <laughs> I actually don't need this key. I was good on keys. <laughs> Come on, bomb. Just go down the conveyor like you're supposed to. You know what? Here, just put it there. I have no a idea. A little bit of sloppy movement towards the end. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> We're fine. <laughs> Alright, for oh, the no. fans. For, for the fans. For the fans. Ah, dang it. Okay, oh, we'll actually kill him. <laughs> I was going to give at least one shot.
Also for the fans. No, that chest was not needed as part of anything. <laughs> that literally wasted time. All right, it's Agatu. RNG on where he goes. These are tough patterns, but... Didn't even throw me a ball. Heck you, Aga. Oof. Oof. All right, this is a good pattern. Good pattern right here. One more. All right, into Ganon we go. All right, we're five minutes and 40 seconds ahead of PB. Most of that lost due to the spaghetti at the end and trying to hover and failing. <laughs> Here's Ganon. Six slashes to phase. One more to be saved. One, two, three, four, five, six to phase. Now we get teleports. Keep count of the teleports. How many times is Ganon going to teleport on me? <laughs> Alright, two hits, one more hit. Not too bad, not too bad. And that's a GG! Whoa. And new PB. This is a PB. This is a PB. <laughs> Heck yeah! Gotta love those early morning roll out of bed into a run right. PBs. That is uh, a PB by 5 minutes and 53 seconds. That's a pretty significant PB. <laughs> Hooray! We did, we did the thing. We did the thing, church. <laughs> we, we did the thing. <laughs> we did the thing. Yeah, that was, that was amazing. You had some really clean movement, and then I talked, and then there was some not clean movement. Moral of the story, if you want a PB, don't have church in the call. That's, that's all we got to do. <laughs> oh. Ah, I mean, thank you all so much for the GGs, this. everybody. <laughs> Yeah, that was absolutely stellar. You you had some amazing gameplay throughout. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, there's a lot that can be approved on. So we're, we're st there's still 21 minutes to save to get to world record. Um, five minutes of that being RNG, and another 15 minutes just in movement optimizations and better execution. So this game is very highly optimized, and there's a lot of cool stuff you can do, and a lot of stuff that seems invisible. Like, you're saving frames that... You know, you watch two run side by side, that's the only way you notice that frames are being saved. And it's just so, so awesome of a run. Every single room is interesting and has fun strats. Uh, just all around fantastic video game. And thanks for, uh, thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the run. Yeah, thank you uh, so much, Fant, for, uh, you know, uh, the quick response to, uh, <laughs> to filling in. Uh, very much appreciate it. Uh, where yeah. can people find more of your stuff? Yeah, yeah. So I stream uh, six days a week on my channel, twitch.tv slash fant underscore TV. Uh, doing a lot of Ocarina of Time randomizer right now because uh, me and Nukes are going to be in Flame Fatales and we're running uh, 
OOT randomizer co-op. Uh, I also do a lot of just regular randomizer in general, uh, like SMZ3. Um, I'm not nearly as good at Super Metroid as I'm at Link to the Past, uh, so I still have a lot to learn there. Um, and I am just recently picked up Super Mario Odyssey speedrunning, um, so I'm just beating the game again casually and then uh, gonna go in and start grinding any percent there, so lots of fun stuff uh, coming up. I hope uh, to see some of you there. And, yep, and uh, again, thank you so much for, uh, for filling in quick. Uh, we are going to take a few minute break, and then we are going to be back with uh, a run of Neon White, uh, or a few uh, a PB attempts of Neon White at least. Uh, before we go to the break, uh, just a few quick reminders. Uh, we do have one in Dunathon coming up soon. That's going to be August 13th and 14th. That's a marathon where you show off your favorite run, and then that's your only apparent appearance in the one in Dunathon series. Uh, the schedule is out now. You can use exclamation OADAT in Twitch chat to learn more. Uh, and also, we do have a highlights channel now, which features uh, standout moments from our hotfix shows. You can use exclamation highlights in Twitch chat to learn more. With that said, we'll see you in just a few minutes here, <laughs> back with uh, some neon wait attempts. And again, thank you so much, fam. Have any time. Bye-bye, everybody. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to PB Precipice. Uh, we have another PB attempt for a different game. This is Neon White, and we've got Amy Lynn here. How you doing, Amy? Hi, doing good. Um, so this is a game. This is Neon White. I love this game a lot. Uh, this game is great. There's there's no music right now. Don't worry. Um, we're just on the main menu. Uh, so I I've never been on PB Precipice before. So what should I explain? Uh, this is. An FPS. Uh, it's very fast paced. Um, I'll be. I, I reordered the the order in which I do things so I can explain things a little bit better. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and get it started. So let's go in. Th there we go. All right. Three, two, one, go. All right. First level. Uh, so this is Red's Hell Rush. This is meant to be like the sort of tutorials for the game. Um, but this is hell mode, where if I die, I have to restart completely. So this is elevate tutorial. Uh, elevate is just a double jump. Cool. Level is pretty straightforward. Then everything gets a little more complicated, because I have a katana that I can discard to get any card in the game. So now I have a rocket launcher. And when you discard the rocket launcher, it's a grappling hook. There we go. All right. And there we go. Purify, it's a machine gun. And when you discard it, it's a sticky bomb that lets you uh, rocket jump. Go for... Oh, missed it. Okay. So, that's Hell Rush. Uh, if you die, you completely restart. And I forgot to start my timer. You can tell I don't run with a timer often. Because the there is an in-game timer for this game, but it's on screen. Uh, but it's not very visible, so we're using live split. Elevate once again. Right. And uh, since this is the hell mode, I get three discards of that katana. Uh, if this was heaven mode, I'd have to do everything uh, straight up. This level is actually not that much slower in heaven mode. Oh, and purify. Okay. Oh, I'm going to have to... Okay. I'm just going to have to do slow purify. That's fine. So you can save a purify there, uh, and it speeds up this later half of the level. Uh, but I missed that jump, so it's okay. All right. So one of the things you're going to see me doing uh, is slashing bombs just like that or shooting them with purify, uh, and doing that speeds you up just a little bit. Alright, there's Purify done. Time to skip all of this level by teleporting to the end of it. Uh, I'll explain what the Book of Life does a little bit later uh, into the run. But for now, we have Stomp, which uh, is a submachine gun, but also stomps. And as you can see, breaks these doors. Or breaks these barrels and boosts me upward. 
Sorry, it's very difficult to talk and <laughs> play this game at the same time. No, you're good. Yeah, I can imagine. I have, I have, I have no idea what's going on. I'm trying to figure that out. Like, yeah. so if I do this right, I can skip two of the bomb jumps there. Nice. And then we shoot this door, and we're done. Cool. All right. I'm getting a lot of like CM vibes from this. Yeah. A lot of people have, have described it to me that way, too. All right. So fireball, we get a book of life. We teleport to a barrel and then we skip half the level. All right. There is. Yeah, I'm getting. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it very, it very much is like I saw. I've, I've played a bit of yeah. CUM and it's, it's very similar to that. <laughs> all right. Which means I, I wouldn't be good at this game at all because I suck at CUM. <laughs> No, this this game is really nice. Uh, the movement system is like really, it it feels really good. And if it felt bad, it would this game would be worse. But like, the movement yeah. is very very slick. Um, so this is Dominion. This is just the rocket jump level. Ooh, do I make that? Cool. So I'm saving rockets here. Rocket jump my way through this level. And then I skip uh, going all the way over to the right by grappling here. Rocket jump. Rocket jump and grapple. All right, now don't blink. This level's fast. Uh, where is it? There it is. Level's over. Okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, so you can just clip right through that. All right, so 317.21. It's the Red's Hell Rush time. All right. Oh, I didn't organize these right. We're actually going on to yellow next. I'm sorry. I lied to you. This isn't uh. violet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we just heard about all the cool things that discarding those cards can do. Yellow doesn't let you discard cards at all. So you have to do everything by just shooting. And uh. this also introduces one of uh, the lesser known mechanics of the game in that shooting bullets like that speeds you up. And I was doing it earlier with purify bombs, but you can also shoot enemy bullets. I'm not gonna do it much, um, mainly because my goal in this run is to not encounter like any enemies, uh, except for these ones that I'm like jumping on. There we go. Okay, over the edge. All right. So that cuts off like 40 seconds. It skips most of the level. Oof. Okay. Just it, it, like in a game like this, 40 seconds is huge. Yeah. All right. So instead of going all the way around this level, uh, this is hell mode, so I can get a rocket launcher, and then I can just rocket jump over this huge gap, and then we're at the end. Great. It's just that easy. Yeah, no, it, um, Hell Mode does trivialize some of it, but it also comes with the drawback of if you die at any point, uh, you have to restart the whole rush. Uh, and yeah. there are Hell Rushes for everything in this game. Uh, so all of the side quest rushes, so red, yellow, and violet, and then also the main game as well. Uh, and those are harder but faster. Okay. So there's a skip here that saves 10 seconds, but not for the reason that you think. Uh, it would just mean I save that discard. All right. This is Arena. This is a lot of people's least favorite levels, and I missed the shot. Got it. Um, mainly because... Ooh, okay, got it. Uh, there's a lot of enemies around, and... They they hurt a lot. There we go. Okay. Whew. Arena is difficult. Uh, attitude adjustment, in uh, contrast, is one of the most boring levels in the game. This is basically just 40 seconds to run forward. Just boost up here. J just run forward. That's a pretty, like, huge difference. Yeah. Yeah, like this this level it, generally um, 
I think the world record for it is like 39 seconds or so. Um, my times hover around the 41 to 42 second. Okay. All right. And then, of course, we're dealing with the hardest level in yellow, which is Rocket. So I, this is a level I've actually tried to break a few times, um, and it keeps being resistant to being broken. All right, I'm going to have to use slow Rocket. That's fine. I used too many there, so I have to go the long way. So just very carefully rocket jumping through this entire level uh, and trying not to die. All right, so one, two. And we get onto here. The good thing about explosions in this game is that every single explosion boosts you upward, regardless of where you hit it from. Um, so if you, like, hit it from below, it doesn't matter. It's still going upward. So I'm sorry Which to any... Uh, yeah, I'm sorry to any TF2 rocket jumper fans in here. All right. <laughs> All right, bump my head. Rocket jump backwards. All right, four oh oh eleven. That's pretty good. All right. Oh, all right. We'll go back to the beginning of Violet. All right. So Violet is the hardest one. Uh, what if you could discard, but everything was Kaizo? Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, spikes everywhere, you touch the spikes, you die. Uh, using a Book of Life to skip about half of that level. And then this right here. Book to an immediate switch to Godspeed, so I don't get launched into the spikes. Super difficult. Uh, I'm going to go for a really hard strat on Chain, because I practiced it. Boost off the triple. One, two, three. Grab the Godspeed. Nice. And then just jump up here and bump my head. And there we go. All right, Elevator is a level in which you count. You count to first 11. And then you count to 12. And then you count to 13. It's sesame straight here. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Razor, in contrast to every other Violet level, is like actually pretty straightforward. There's not a lot of super difficult things. Like it, it looks very difficult because you're, you know, dodging all these spikes. But it's it's really not that hard. I think it's the easiest level. In all of Violet, or in all the game? Uh, in all of in all of Violet. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Oh, I gotta burn that. Alright, so you Godspeed around the side. Hit that guy with the Book of Life. And then that skips a good portion of the level. And then I mess up. Okay. Uh, I also realized I'm not Discord streaming for you. I'm sorry. There we go. We'll fix that. <laughs> Hold up the stream. We're good. Alright. So we're back on it again. Uh, again, you die in hell. You have to go back to the beginning. And that's the difficulty for... Uh, that's the difficulty for L. I am... Yeah. Ordinarily, I'd be, like, playing pretty cautious. Um, but, you know, sometimes you gotta, you gotta stunt a little bit. Yeah, triple boost. One, two, three. Yeah, you gotta delay those god speeds just enough so that your speed falls off enough that you get the full boost every single time. Okay. All right. Bang your head. All right, back to Elevator. Time to count. Count to 11. 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And Godspeed. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8. 13. There we go. Back to Razor. Well, 
one of the uh, smaller things. So I, there's there's actually a couple things that I have that are like different than normal uh, neon white gameplay. Um, there's a mod called the Puppy Mod I have that turns off the fireball effect, uh, which okay. is really nice. It's really visually distracting for me. Uh, and also I have a speedometer in the upper left. Okay, made that. Off to the side. Ooh, just barely got that. Okay, we're good. And then shoot here, jump around the side, don't get shot. All right. This is a very hard level that I took that really slow on. Uh, so you're not really supposed to shoot out those uh, tripwires. The game kind of hides them, but if you just do it anyway, you can. Alright, and then time for Resident Saw 2. So, if anyone's played Resident Saw 2, you're gonna get really mad at this, because there's a huge skip where you don't have to interact with the level at all. <laughs> it's normally like a minute long level, but if you just come over here and you bump on that rock and then you're through. That's right. a fantastic. <laughs> 228.78. Let's split all the way around. Right. All right, let me reorder my splits real fast to do the actual order I'm doing them in, because I think this is a better way to uh, organize it. My dog in the background is having a great time. Oh, I gotta undo that. I gotta reset. Now we that was a pretty significant PB, it looks like. <laughs> yeah, I my original PB for this was set like way back in the beginning, uh, and then oh, I okay. decided to practice a bunch and just get a bunch of like really individual stuff going. Gotcha. All right, there we go. Everything's set properly. All right, so we can go again because we got a uh, we got plenty of time. We're just uh, out here doing rushes. All right. So yeah, the the like real difficulty of all of this is uh, you can practice all of these in ILs. I'm actually really really stoked that I got like a full run down pretty much first try uh, because this game is so hard. Uh, yes, this game looks really hard. <laughs> yeah. As somebody like who, God. <laughs> no, no, I was, was going to say, it's not quite to the point yet where, like, I have to reset on every death. Like, if I die in the first couple levels, it's it's fine. Um, but, man, if I... Uh... Okay, made it slow. That's fine. Yeah, what were you saying, Church? As somebody who played CM and then was so bad at it that, like, it just stopped, like, no, this game looks incredibly difficult. Yeah. I think I made it like 10 levels in the CM and was like, nah, I'm just <laughs> never playing this game again. Alright. I whiffed it. I whiffed the Purify. Uh, it's one of the things that I totally forgot to mention when I was doing the last run is uh, water makes you run faster. Okay. Um, and so I'm going to try to like be on the water as much as possible. But the problem is if I'm like sticky jumping at my feet, I can run over the like explosion box of the Purify super easily. Okay. So yeah, anyone who's interested in checking this game out, this game rules. This isn't even like a third of the content that's available in this game. Um, there's, there's a full actual story mode that you do. This is just all the side quests. Uh... The story mode record is currently like 30 something minutes. I like think it's, it's, it's a 32. Okay. Uh, and there's a lot of very cool duels for like IL times as well. And if I were playing shuffle mode, because um, you can play these hell rushes uh, either seated or shuffled. One sec. Game asked me if I'm, I beat a beat a time. 
It's like, cool, do you want to go again? Uh, so you can play these shuffled, and if you play them shuffled, you get to hear soundtracks from the game instead of the uh, red, yellow, and violet uh, soundtracks. All right. And said, is there a reason why uh, people hit purify bombs? Yes, uh, it makes you go faster. Shooting or slashing any projectile uh, makes you go just a little bit faster. And so that's like actually huge for some levels. Uh, some levels it lets you get skips that you otherwise wouldn't be able to. Uh, some levels, you know, it just makes you go faster. Can I make nice made the corner. There we go. Hell Rush is 32 41. Yeah, Hell Rush is always going to be faster than Heaven Rush uh, in every situation just because you have the katana that you can discard for the uh, special card. Yeah, it's just the danger of like you know. You have to do the whole thing without dying. That makes it a lot harder. Yeah. And it's the risk reward kind of thing. Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah. I, I do like having Stomp in the middle of Red's levels because, like, all of Red's levels are super hard. And this one is just really relaxing. You're just running on water. Just running along, stomping the doors open. You're supposed to go in there, but instead you just stomp on the outside and boost yourself up. I love when games add like a what? stomp mechanic like that. Oop. My game lag that I missed it. <laughs> Rip. Yeah. Uh, that's probably the last uh, set we have time for. Sure. So if I fail here, I'll go into yellow and then. I'll go on to Violet after that. See, so yeah, I hope, uh, like, that's why I was surprised that, like, I nailed everything pretty much first try, because this is normally what my attempts look like. So I get about five levels in and then screw something up, and then I have to go again. Sometimes you just gotta first try it every time, right? Yeah. If you just EB the first time... Then, well, I, yeah. mean, I guess you just PB every time. <laughs> I just PB every time. My, my logic immediately fell, fell through, so, <laughs> and, you know, whatever. <laughs> I don't think yeah. anybody's surprised by that, but... Yeah, no, there, there are people in this, in this game who are, like, specialists at one, uh... specific like, level rush. Yeah. Um, I... I took a different path. I decided to get pretty good at all of them. Oh, uh, that was too low. Okay. All right. Move on to yellow. Yeah, there's uh, there's people who take a bunch of time to optimize uh, yellow levels pretty heavily. And yellow levels probably involve the most optimization because... There's so much around, like, you know, you'd, you'd be uh, boosting off of enemies' bullets. Uh, yeah. Figuring out, like, what collision in the game is real that you can jump around. Because you don't have access to, like, super powerful discard abilities. Yeah. Like, for example, there's a skip on a later level STF that if I did it, I would discard uh, there on Sunset Flip instead of discarding on STF, but I'm not good enough at the STF skip yet. So it's all just a, like a tiered. Got to count even in that level. But yeah, it's, it's all just very tiered. Like, you know, you could discard on Arena and Arena, discarding on Arena makes that so much faster. Um, but it, all, it also is a little bit slower if compared to using a discard elsewhere. Um, okay, but yeah. everyone always discards on Climbing Gym because it's like 30 seconds saved. And then Fisherman Which? Suplex. Yeah. Fisherman Suplex is another really common discard because this level is just hard in general. And 
Okay, okay, got it. Makes sense. If you can save a decent amount of time and skip the hard part, then yeah. Yeah, so I'd, I'd save a discard here and do a skip that I cannot do. Got it. Lined that one up a little bit. Okay, shoot the door. Shoot that guy. Shoot the door again. And we're through. All right. Then we get to chill out for a little bit. Because attitude adjustment is like that. It's a nice relaxing level in the middle of... Uh... Just yeah, a bunch it's, of hard stuff. It's a super stressful level arena into attitude adjustment, which is like pretty chill, into yeah. rocket, which is inc incredibly not chill. But absolutely no chill. Ah! Ah! Until you miss that jump and then you die. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, going on to Violet. So yeah, again, this is just Kaizo levels all over. You're not really allowed to touch the ground at all. Which is just kind of rude. I'm just you gonna restart that, that one. Yeah, you can restart this one. Because, yeah, so that's that's what happens if you don't get... It's really, really precise. Um, that Book of Life into uh, Godspeed switch. It it's I time it off of audio more than anything else. I'm not even really like timing it off of uh, right around the chain. Let's see if I can get chain again. Uh, I went too low. All right. I'll just do the backup. And now onto elevator, where we count. So, oh, is this supposed to be like the intended route, or is this like I don't know, like some weird skip or something? Yeah, it no. Feels like uh, a... That what I was doing on the elevator is definitely intended. Um, oh, okay. guys. It's, there's actually really, there's something really funny that I'll show off right at the end if you screw up Elevator. Uh, because, it, it, and I'll, I'll explain it a little bit more when I get there, but uh, yeah, that was, ev everything is pretty much intended until I discard a card and get, get the uh, special card. But yeah, see, it's, when you discard, you get this, you asked for a miracle and you can pick any card in the yeah. game. Um, I gotta burn that. Dash this way. All right, I, I'm always scared of hitting that Godspeed too early and just bonking into the wall. Oh, I bonked my head, no! Oh no. Okay. All right, well, I'll show off that elevator thing real quick because the next show is looking like it's ready. Yeah. Uh, so this is how you practice. You just go to the to White's Journal. Um, this is Neon, Vi Neon Violet. She's great. Uh, one of the best characters in the game. But she's also kind of a little bit of a troll. Uh, so if you go to Elevator and you miscount. So I'm just going to mash right click here. Oh no, I counted to 12 and failed. You go all the way down. And the music cuts out, and you're on Idiot Island. <laughs> and then if you wait long enough, the spike wall comes down and kills you. That's fantastic. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's, uh, 
<laughs> that's Rainbow Rush. Rainbow Rush is great. Uh, it's it's super difficult. It shows off a lot of the skill that you have to have because you have to be able to, you have to be really good at all three of the rushes uh, instead of just one of them. Um, I definitely encourage people to check it out if you want to uh, get better. There's a uh, heaven version of Rainbow Rush as well uh, as hell. So if you just want to do the the heaven where you can reset infinitely, uh, you can do that instead. And yeah, play Neon White. It's great. It's a really good game. Yeah, this actually does look really fun. If I were better at this kind of video game, yeah, no, there's there's definitely a lot of like practice ability that you can do with this because you know you can like every single level has its own global leaderboard and its own individual placing, um, and you can see you know where you are compared to all your friends, um, and you can do that with like you know reds levels, uh, yellow, violet. And then you can also just yeah. go back to the main hub and like play any of the story levels again. And you can just do that infinitely. So yeah, definitely, definitely recommend checking it out. Uh, it's really easy to practice and the game is, has a lot of tech. So happy to yeah, fill in and uh, yeah. Thank you so much for filling in the last minute. Really appreciate it, Amy. Yeah, um, no problem. Yeah. Uh, real quick, uh, where can people find more of you? Uh, Twitch.tv slash Um I, I've been doing this and Power Wash Simulator lately because I'm all about the FPSs that are not standard. Uh, but then also watch my show Aimbot, which is every other Tuesday at 10 p.m. Uh, I've got a show coming up on the 9th. I didn't remember what day it was today. So in two days, uh, I'm, I'm not doing... the only one in chat. I am not the only one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm do uh, it is uh, a new Doom showcase. So it's going to be Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal. Awesome. So that sounds definitely, exciting. Definitely come check that out. It's not me. Not me doing it. It's, it's the Doom community doing it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right. Uh, again, thank you so much, Amy, for uh, you know coming on and filling. Uh, we do have another show coming up, uh, which is uh, "It's Dangerous to Go Alone," uh, which is a show uh, that features uh, co-op speedruns. So we're going to uh, go to that uh, just after a break. Right before we go to the break, though, uh, just want to remind everybody that we do have an Instagram. It's at Games Done Quick. You can get bit-sized clips from our hot pick shows and see what's happening at events there. And also, your subs, Prime Gaming subs, gift subs, and bits shared on the GDQ Twitch channel do help support our weekly hot picks content. So please consider subscribing if you enjoyed all of any of our weekly content. If you enjoyed this, uh, it's dangerous to go alone coming up next or any of the other shows. It really does help support us and keep making these shows. Uh, we're going to go to a quick break, and then it's going to be It's Dangerous to Go Alone. So I uh, hope you stick around and watch. Take care, everyone. <laughs>